time, Tacitus, in his Histories Book 5, says something very similar to this. In Book 5, Tacitus talks about the Jews possibly being refugees from the island of Crete, claiming that their name Judea is actually from the Mount Ida, and that Asherah is a translation for Rhea, the great mother of the Idean mountain. The god that was worshipped there was Saturn, also known as Sabatios. He says that Moses, wishing to secure the future of his authority over the nation, gave them a novel form of worship, opposed to all that is practiced by other men. Things sacred with us, with them have no sanctity, while they allow what with us is forbidden. In their holy place, they have consecrated an image of the animal by whose guidance they found deliverance from their long and thirsty wanderings, which would be the image of the donkey. They slay the ram, seemingly in derision of Amon, and they sacrifice the ox because the Egyptians worship it as Apis. And he's arguing that the reason why their rites are the opposite of the Greeks is because of this. But then he says, by their frequent fast, they still bear witness to the long hunger of former days. And the Jewish bread made without leaven is retained as a memorial of their hurried seizure of corn. We are told that the rest of the seventh day was adopted because this brought with them termination of their toils after a while of indolence beguiled them into giving up the seventh year also. But others say it is observance of honor of Saturn, either in the primitive elements of their faith having been transmitted from the Idea, who are said to have shared the flight of that god, and to have found that race, or the circumstance that the seven stars which rule the destinies of men Saturn moves in the highest orbit and with the mightiest power and that many of the heavenly bodies complete the revolutions and courses in multiples of seven. In this passage, Tacitus is speaking of the Idaean Sabazios, the god of the Cretans, who was brought to Anatolia by migrants. They call those profane who make representations of God in human shape out of perishable materials. They believe that being to the supreme and eternal, neither capable of representation nor of decay. They therefore do not allow any images to stand in their cities, much less in their temples. This flattery is not paid to their kings, nor this honor to our emperors. From the fact, however, that their priests use the chant to the music of flutes and symbols, and wear garlands of ivy, and that of a golden vine was found in the temple. Some have thought that they worshipped Father Liber, Dionysus, Bacchus, the conqueror of the East, though their institutions do not by any means harmonize with the theory, for Liber established a festive and cheerful worship, while the Jewish religion is tasty.